guys, it's Katherine, and I'm here today with a video that's gonna teach you two different ways that you can increase the amount of layers that you have for your planner pages if you decorate your pages in Procreate. Now, something that I learned only recently is that the amount of layers that you have available in Procreate not only depends on your canvas size or your file size, it also depends on your iPad model. So I have been working with an iPad Pro since day one, which those have the maximum amount of layers for Procreate. I believe a standard size canvas gets like 128 maximum layers. So once I learned this, I invested in an iPad mini so I could start testing my products on both the Pro and more of a standard iPad. And I learned that on my mini, the standard screen size canvas gets a maximum of, I believe, 61 layers. So it's actually like half the amount of layers. And this amount can vary depending on the document that you're using. So for all of the planners that I sell, with the exception of one planner, they come with a pages folder. Now that pages folder is made specifically for people like me that like to decorate their planner pages in Procreate. And I came up with the idea like way before I realized that just because I'm getting enough layers doesn't mean somebody with a standard iPad is getting enough layers. So after I got my mini, I learned some tricks that will allow you to work around that so you can still decorate your pages in Procreate. You can still have a very reasonable amount of layers without having to worry about reaching your maximum. So let's get started with that. For this video, I am using the Truly Yours Planner, which I will link to in the video description, but this can be done with any of my planners, and one of these methods can be done with any digital planner, not just my planners. So that's something to keep in mind. First, I will show you the method that can be done in any digital planner. So right now, I'm just on one of the calendar templates from the Truly Yours Planner, and I'm in view mode currently. Now you wanna be in view mode, and actually you wanna be in full screen mode to do this. So if you're not in view mode, if you're seeing your toolbar, that means you're not in view mode. All you do is come up here to this icon that's a pen with a line through it, select that, and then to get in full screen mode, just tap on your screen. And now you're in full screen mode. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take a screenshot. So to take a screenshot, I'm on the iPad Pro third generation. If you have an iPad with a home button, you're gonna hit the power button and the home button at the same time. I believe that's how you do it on one with a home button. But if you have an iPad Pro third generation, you're gonna hit your power button and the volume up button at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna do now and I took a screenshot. So now I'm gonna import that screenshot into Procreate. So to do that, I'm gonna pull up Procreate and I'm on the main screen right now. So I'm gonna pull that in from my camera roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit photo, I'm gonna hit all photos, and then here is my screenshot right here. So here is my calendar, but it's got these links on the bottom which if we brought this back into GoodNotes as is, those links wouldn't work because these would cover our real links. And we've also got these sides around the planner page that we don't want. So all you need to do is you need to go to your wrench tool, go to Canvas, and go to Crop and Resize. And now you're just gonna drag this box to meet your planner page. So over the sides, we're just gonna get rid of that excess and we're gonna try to get it lined up with just the white edge of this page. And now down here, we wanna get rid of our links. So we're just gonna drag this bottom up and now our links are gone. And that would work with any planner. So this planner is a tabless planner, so it's super easy to do. If you've got one that's got like a background and then tabs on the side, you would just crop those tabs out. It would be a little bit more difficult than a planner like this, but it still can be done. So we've removed our links. Everything within this box is what is gonna be left behind. So now we can click on done and now we've got 101 layers. So when we go to our Canvas information, this is how we can double check that. You'll see your maximum layers are 101 and your DPI is 264, which is pretty good. 
So now you can decorate this page completely in Procreate and then save it to your camera roll and then bring it back into GoodNotes. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is you can take that screenshot and put it on a screen size canvas. So we're on the Procreate home screen. We're just gonna go to this plus sign and we're gonna select screen size. So now I'm gonna go to this wrench and go to canvas information and we'll see we have a maximum of 91 layers. So this is what I do from here. I would import the screenshot from my planner as an image. So we've got that here. And I'm gonna zoom out quite a bit. And now I would import one of those bonus pages that comes with the planner. So I'm pulling this in from Dropbox. You would just pull this in from wherever you have it saved. And now this is an image on top of my screenshot. So this goes from side to side of the page um, and we want it to fit the planner. So with this page still selected, we're gonna come down here and select uniform and drag it up a little bit and then just drag these blue dots vertically until it's lined up with the page. And you'll see now that it is. So we've got it lined up so we know it fits the planner. So this is what you would do now. You would erase the screenshot layer, which gets rid of your links, and then you would turn off the background color and that leaves behind nothing but your planner page. So we can actually move this page up just a little bit and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop around this page to make our canvas fit the page. So to do that, all you have to do is go to your wrench tool, go to canvas, go to crop and resize, and then drag these up or over to meet the white lines. And now we've got our planner page and you can decorate this and then bring this into GoodNotes as well. You'll see when you go to your canvas information, you've got a maximum of 102 layers with this canvas. So that just gives you way more layers because you'll see when I just import these pages directly, even on the pro, um, when you go to canvas information, you get a maximum of 37 layers, which if you're using a pro or any iPad and you have a maximum of 37 layers, that's actually pretty easy to work with. But I know on some of the more standard iPads, you might get a maximum of like 10 layers. And that would be kind of difficult to work with, especially if you're like me and you do a lot of lettering and you use a lot of stickers. So those are just two workarounds that you can do in order to get more layers. And that's it. That's how you do it. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Uh, join my Facebook group, Naptime Alternative, to share your layouts. And you can ask questions there as well. There's tons of helpful people in that group. Make sure you check out my Patreon page down below if you would like to join my digital planning club. It's a really fun monthly club where you get all kinds of exclusives. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.